on Twitter, I was probably at maybe, what, 19K, and I moved from there. And on Instagram, I was probably only at 1,000 and something. So I started to do music like 11 months ago. And I knew I wasn't going to go back to school, but I told my parents, I was like, I'm going to take this semester off. But I knew I wasn't going to go back. I didn't want to be at home because I knew my parents, like, they not finna have that shit. Anyways, I went to my sister house, started being there for a minute. Basically, I, was, I wasn't paying bills or anything, just promoting myself on the internet all day and night. Definitely no sleep, like headaches from not sleeping every day. She she got fed up basically. Okay, you're not paying bills, you're just doing this and okay, it's time to go. Life was me moving from sibling to sibling house, promoting my music like through Twitter and you know, barely getting any, you know, reaction out of anything. It was about 13 songs into making music maybe. And, uh, you know, nothing was really, like, popping, I guess. In a way, like, I was like, I knew I had to do something that was, like, different, but also could be culturally relevant and um, able to be something big for me or, like, give me my first little boost. And I came across the beat on YouTube. I took that. I took meme culture. I took country music and hip-hop together and made the song. I mean, it's not like I don't have anywhere to go back to. I just don't want to go back home. So... Basically, it started off as like a lonely cowboy runaway story. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna take more old town road ride till I can't no more. But then it's like later on while I was like making the song and switching out words, okay, I wanna change this. It's, it's like gonna be like a triumphant, you know, underdog going to the top type of thing. So it's like horse was, was stand for like not having much in old town road was like, like a path to success. So it's like taking your horse to the old town road. I just knew Infusing those two genres together, I, I felt like okay, I like I did it, I did it slightly differently this time. I feel like this could catch on and you know like be big for me. I knew Old Town Road had to have some kind of funny lyrics just to keep people entertained. I was like pushing it like through memes and stuff, like I, cause I already like had it like plot like even like putting like little funny lines in it so it can you know hit right you know and i knew like that i got the horse and i like oh like, so many line everybody keeps saying like once you have a theme and a concept it's easier to build stuff around the song you know i know when i'm feeling something i was like i i feel it like with old town road it could have been we don't take you serious no more to my fans who were they were like oh we don't even take you serious for, for putting this out but it's like okay i know this is going to work and i'm going to make it work it's just when you know you know literally when i heard the beat that was it. when i heard the beat i was like okay this right here, it's like you ruined this, you just ruined everything. From the very night I released Old Town Road on Twitter, the song was already like moving. And like that went viral, so I immediately put the song out like right after that. And uh, I started promoting it through memes like the entire time because, you know, prior to that, like music I would put out, I, it wasn't like something you can add like a meme to or something. It was just like, you know, Hip hop, you know, regular. But with that song, I knew I could do that. So I pushed it to its fullest potential. But you know, I was like pushing it hard, like, you know, like, you know, sacrificing, like not going anywhere, literally, like going to visit family and friends and stuff like that. And not really sleeping. Just like making sure I'm on the internet as much as possible to push like this song. And it's like, uh, my parents were like, uh, you know, Get a job, get a job, get a job, get a job. A lot of people like to say, you know, it's like a kid accidentally got it. It's like, no, it's this is no accident. Like I've been, I've been pushing this hard. No, I was not working. Like I was pushing my music through the internet like full time. You know, like a lot of artists, well, especially like rappers, you know, they have to come up in their city first. Yeah. But like country artists got to go through Nashville or something like that. But it's like, you know, when you have the internet, you don't have to go through nobody. You can give it to everybody, and everybody can, can take it, basically. Uh, I was pushing it through memes, like, for months, and it was, like, you know, going up, like, slowly. And once those little clips caught up around the internet or whatever, you know, started to see, like, the dance challenges on TikTok and stuff like that I come along. Respect. Uh, well, at first, it was just, like, people just, you know, doing, like, little random videos to it, and then it was, like, uh, a couple of people, you know, they started doing like this transformation to the, you know, themselves to like yeah. the cowboy. <laughs> and then it was like, okay, wow, like a thousand people did this. And you're it was watching like, wow, this. Wow, two thousand people did this. Wow, ten thousand people did this. 
and it's like just kept going up. I was like, okay, I'm, like this is it. Finally, then my stepmom kind of like straight out was like, uh, you're gonna have to pick one. And then you know, I guess she wasn't expecting me to pick music, uh -huh. but you know, it was it was something that I I really loved. So it was like, uh, I'm going with this, and you know, I'm pro I promise I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm mm -hmm. going to find a way to do it, get up to where I'm trying to be as quick as possible. Uh, I don't know how yet, but you know, I will. And you know, that's what I did pretty much.